Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are well and good and have enjoyed the puja vacations a lot. So from today we are going to start our class again. So let's start. So children, today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter number 5. More about MS Paint. So first of all, we will learn how to select any object on the drawing area and then we will learn how to cut the object and paste it in its desired location. So please have a look on the screen which I am showing. Here on the screen you can see two drawings I have drawn. One flower, one flower I have drawn and another is a bucket. Now what we have to do if we have to select this bucket. If we have to select this bucket, how we will select? First of all, we have to go to this image group. See here, this is the this is the image group, and in this image group, you can see one select option is given. The select option is given here in this image group. So what you have to do? You have to click on this select option and then drag it and select the bucket. You have to drag and select the bucket. Now after dragging and selecting the bucket, you can see the bucket has been selected. After the selection, now we will learn how to cut this bucket from here and paste it in its desired location so have a look here children if we have to cut this bucket we have to go in this clipboard group you can see here this is the clipboard group and in this clipboard group you can see the cut option is given you can cut see the object is gone now after cutting if you click here on this paste option in the clipboard group see it appeared again now you can drag it and place it in your desired location okay children so like this you can drag you can drag it and place it over here okay so this was the part where i have shown you that how to cut and paste any object from one place to another okay now children we will learn about the transparent and non-transparent selection okay so what is a transparent selection see here if i turn off you can see here on the screen if i turn off this transparent selection option see the transparent selection option is turned off the tick sign is not here so the transparent selection option is turned off now if i select any object see suppose i'm selecting this part of the drawing okay you can see the whole white portion inside the select selected part is also coming the whole white portion the white portion the white portion in inside the selected part is also coming so if i put on this transparent selection see the white portion is gone so if you if you don't want the white portion over here if you don't want these white portions you can turn on this transparent selection option now see again i'm turning off this transparent selection option see the white portion is coming Again, I am turning on this transparent selection option. See, the white portion is gone. So, how we will understand that the transparent selection is on or off? You can see here, beside the transparent selection option, one tick sign is given. If this tick sign is given, you can consider that the transparent selection is turned on. Okay, you can move, you can move the object in a transparent way. But if the transparent selection is turned off you can see the tick sign is not there okay you can click it and turn it on see it is turned on and again you can click it to turn off see it is turned off now for turning it on you can make a click over here it is turned on now you can see you can move or you can place the selected part of the drawing in a transparent way okay children so this was the transparent selection option now after this transparent selection option you will get this free form selection why this free form selection is given because it is not possible to select any part of the drawing with the help of this all parts are not been selected with the help of this uh, rectangular selection you can see if i uh, if i am trying to select this leaf with the help of the rectangular selection you can't select it because see with this leaf this part is also coming okay so for that this freeform selection is given so that you can uh, select this leaf in a particular form now i am showing you how to select the leaf with the help of this freeform selection see here see here i am selecting this freeform selection 
see i'm selecting it i'm selecting the leaf the leaf is selected now you can move the leaf see can i move the leaf yes i can move the leaf i can move the leaf in upper upward or downward wherever i like to place this leaf i can place okay so this was the work of the free form selection with the help of the free form selection you can freely freely select any form or any part of the drawing see i'm selecting the flower again i'm selecting the flower again so only if i have to select the flower then i can select the flower like this i have selected the flower and see i can move the flower okay but if you if you would have done this with a rectangular selection if you would have done this with a rectangular selection see with the flower this part is also coming this part this part is also coming now if you move see the part is replaced with the flower i mean displaced with the flower can you see so that's why the free form selection is given so children uh, it was up to this now one practice zone is given in your book in page number 72 okay this is the practice zone so you have to do this practice zone in your book only okay and send me in my personal whatsapp number so that i can check okay this is your task thank you very much